Today I am installing two items from Steeda on the inside of my Focus RS. Alright then, these are the two items from Steeda that we are installing in the interior of my Focus RS today. Uh, first up then is the hood latch release for the inside. So you may already know I have the aluminium hood latch release under the bonnet from Boomba Racing, which is also done in the same vein of red anodized aluminium and it looks great. Uh, so this is essentially just a matching little component for the latch that there is in the interior of the car. This is mostly going to be like a visual mod. It's just going to look super duper nice in the inside of the car. But there are a couple of functional benefits to this as well. So it's a slightly different shape. So you can see that curvature there. Steeda described this added curvature as being a more ergonomic design in the sense that the stock piece, which is made of plastic, is just straight. So this will make actuation of this just a little bit easier, which is nice. So then replacing the plastic part with this much much more sturdy aluminium piece has the benefit of lasting longer there has been talk of the Ford plastic releases like weakening and loosening over time even breaking um, so that will remove that possibility with this awesome looking piece it should be pretty easy to do as well so that's also a nice touch and um, this is compatible with the RS the ST even the Mustang as well I think is the same design so yeah just really nice made in USA just feels really nice it's super light of course and it's available in multiple colors as well there is this red which i think is obviously my favorite that's why i bought it um but you can also get it in anodized black or you can get it in plain straight up aluminium not anodized at all moving on then to the second piece that we are installing today also from steeda of course also made in the usa and also made of aluminium this is made of 6061 aircraft grade aluminium and it therefore it is very strong but also very light and it is the accelerator pedal, or as the Americans call it, the gas pedal spacer. So you probably will have seen um, a variation of this done by another brand where the spacer is like rather thick with the intention of bringing the accelerator pedal in line with the brake pedal. And of course, the reason of the development of these spacers is the perception that the accelerator pedal is too far away from the height of the brake pedal and therefore it can make heel to going difficult. So then the idea is to bring the pedal up to make that a much easier prospect and therefore increase lap times if you're doing tracking or fast road, whatever scenario you should find yourself in with your RS or your ST. Where Steedo wins with their design is with the thickness. Now you can see here it is nowhere near as thick as the others on the market. It is exactly three eighths of an inch thick. So you might ask why it is the thinner one better than the thicker ones that are available from other manufacturers. Well, if you think about it, whenever you're heel towing you're pressing the brake and you're probably pressing it to a reasonable degree of pressure which means that you're pushing the brake pedal down closer to the accelerator that you want to then blip but if you have the accelerator all the way up at the same height it's going to be too high so therefore the Steeda spacer Steeda have really thought about this and they are just raising the accelerator pedal up the exact right amount to make it just ideal for heel towing so yeah I mean it's literally as simple as that so that is our two items Items that we are installing on the inside of the Focus RS today so let's jump over to the car and get started. All right then we are in the car and of course before we install this which is the item that we are going to install first uh, we have to remove the stock piece so this is it here and I don't know how well it comes across on camera but I mean it's fairly flimsy bit of plastic um, so this is going to be just really really nice to replace it with so I'll just set that to the side for now. The first thing that we need to do is you see here this central piece this is like a little 
cap and we need to remove this cap. So what I have here is the smallest little flathead screwdriver that I have. I think it's 1.5 millimeters. On this cap, there's a little flat flap right here on the outer edge. So what we want to do is just poke in. And you see it's sort of like raised up now, so I should be able to get that cap all the way off. And there we go. So that is the cap removed. So now we can get access to what's actually holding this on and remove it. Okay, then getting this off, I don't know how easy it is to see, but in here there's essentially two little like teeth that are holding this on that are part of this this little central like spindle thing so i've seen it suggested in the past that if you use a quarter inch 10 mil socket what you can do is you can fit that in here and you can essentially press both of them at the same time so that they can then release this and this will come off Hey there we are. So that method clearly worked. Um, you can see maybe now a little bit better that the teeth that I'm talking about are here and then the equivalent over on the other side there. So the process, I mean, it's obviously holding it on reasonably well. So just getting the little socket in there, the little quarter inch 10 mil, and just sort of like trying to manipulate it around to try and press those whilst at the same time sort of getting your fingers underneath this and sort of wiggling it outwards as well and then it just sort of pops off eventually. Getting our new Steeda part on should be a lot easier. You can see that we have these two cutaways either side of the intersection of our new Steeda piece which of course is the exact same as our plastic stock piece. If you look here we have these two intersections here and on the other side over here so we just need to line those up with the cutaways. So I mean you just have to kind of eyeball it and once you do that, you just push it, clicks into place, and that is literally the installation complete on this part. So let's just see if it works. It works perfect. So now we can move on to the other side of the car and do the accelerator pedal spacer. All right, over here on the driver's side, it's hopefully noticeable just how sunken in this is. You know, there's those two pedals and then the accelerator. So we've got that big gap right there. If I jump in, like if I just rest my foot almost entirely fits underneath the brake pedal. So it is quite the ways down there. But like I was saying before, I don't really think it's correct to bring it all the way up. Um, so that's why the Steeda spacer is perfect in my opinion. All right then, to get our spacer installed, we need to use a ratchet extension. I might need another wee extension, I'm not quite sure just yet. And um, possibility of using one of these little extensions that allows you to sort of go around a bit of an angle. Um, because it is a little bit difficult if I sort of go up here, get a light. Obviously this is our pedal, but the connections are sort of right up in there. And you can see to the left, that's one of them. Um, so they require a 10 mil socket. So like it's easy enough to, you know, get access to that one. But the other one, you see where that label is? There's kind of like a bend right at the end of that label. Just behind that is where the other one is. So it's a little bit more awkward to get up in there, uh, which is why uh, this like angly thing might help out. So it's just those two that I mentioned, and then that should loosen the pedal. Now there is an electrical connection on the back of that, but we can you can either take it off if you really want to. But what I'm gonna try and do is just keep it connected, then carefully position our spacer in, get the nuts back on and tighten them up, and that should be it. So that's the upper one out. I'm not gonna lie, that was kind of awkward getting up in there, but just a little bit of perseverance and it will come out eventually. All right, and then now we can grab this other one. There we go. So you can see our pedal is totally loose now. Still on the studs, which is fine. Just carefully remove the pedal, get it out of the way, get our spacer up into position, and then get our hardware back in place. Getting them both started by hand first. I've got the two nuts kind of on. I've given that one a reasonable bit of tightening. 
So now it's just the nice awkward one. So actually I might get a few turns um, just using my little ratcheting spanner here because it's slightly easier to get up in there. It's got a reasonable bit of tightness going on there. So then, I mean, really just tighten these down as hard as you can, I would say. That seems, it feels pretty tight on that one. Yeah, that's tight enough. Just feeding this up in here to get it extra, like fully tight. Yeah, that ought to do it. So there we go. Spacer is installed. A couple of top tips before I finish off here. If you look right here, you can see that it is exactly lining up with the contours of the actual pedal. Now, you need to have that perfect. Otherwise, it's gonna be very difficult to get those little nuts on there. And another top tip, if you're having trouble seeing, remove the cover of your onboard diagnostics port. That top nut is just right in there, so you can get a better angle and look through this gap right here if you're having trouble seeing. Um, but other than that, we're all good. Hopefully you can see a difference there. Certainly it is closer, definitely. Sort of put my hand there. But like we were saying before, it isn't like right up level. Any bigger of a spacer, and that's going to be right level with that. The Mishimoto, for example, is almost in fact it's slightly more than four times as thick as that so it's going to be like right up here which is just wrong in, in my opinion um but yeah there we go installation is complete and that's our two steta items installed for today Well, there we go. That is the installation finished of the two Steeda parts on the inside of my RS. The hood latch release went on really easy. It was very, very quick and simple to install. The pedal spacer is easy in concept, but a little bit fiddly, especially because you have to get right up in there to that top nut and then aligning the plate around the edge of the actual bottom of the pedal and the little plate behind it in order to get the nuts on. Um, but once you do that, it's relatively plain sailing and seems like a really great job. So I'm very happy with that. I'm very happy with both of these mods. I do have a couple of other items from Steve for the future to do, but for now that is it. And I think it's great. So I hope you like that. I hope you like this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please do like, share and subscribe for more content to come very, very soon. Thank you once again. Goodbye.